Okay, I took a sell for two shares. Looking for 20 cents. This is an example of a trade that I'm not too sure about. I'm just taking it because I feel like it has some kind of edge that it should pull back before getting above the high of day. But I'm not extremely confident about it. So this is one of the situations where I get an opportunity to practice uh, not hesitating and just feeling like I, I have an edge based on my strategy and, and immediately taking the trade. Then now, whether it works out or not, I can I can study the trade and figure out what I did wrong. Or if there was in fact an edge in the first place, and then next time I can adjust. So here it looks like the breakout's pretty strong. Not sure if it's gonna go in my direction, but my stop isn't that far away, so I'm not risking too much on this trade. One concern I have with this trade is that usually when it's this close to the open, uh, it has to test it. So I'm, I might have been better off selling closer to the open and using a bit of a wider stop. Because now I have my target down here, I'm not sure if it has to test the open maybe a bit higher first. So that's one of my concerns, but I thought the setup was okay for a test down. I just didn't see the open at the time, so hopefully it still works out. So we just tested the open and you can see from the one minute chart, missed my stop loss by two cents, I think. So that was my concern that we'd have to go to the open first and potentially stop me out. I got lucky here, but we'll see what happens. See if we can get down to my target. Okay, we touched my target. I'm just gonna move my stop loss down to break even. So now I'll either make 20 cents or get out without a loss. Okay, so I ended up just getting out um, for a seven cent profit. It wasn't getting down to my order. Uh, I tried twice. You can even see on the one minute chart, my order was at 260.292. And you can see it formed um, like a small double bottom right above my order. So as soon as it started to race up, I just exited. It could still get there, but. I figured I'd rather get out with seven cents than get out break even. So I'm okay with that that decision. Um, actually, let me put that line back because we did end up having to test the open of the day and then tested it again one more time before um, plunging down to my towards my profit target. And that's, I think that's a, a realistic adjustment that I can make is that's a level I missed. I could have sold higher knowing that there's a good chance we'll test the open before, before getting down a bit lower. Also my stop loss, it got within a cent or two from my stop loss. I can be interpreted as getting really lucky and also as having my stop loss in the perfect place. So, um, I can choose how to interpret that. I think it was a little bit of both. I did have my stop loss above the high of the day, which I think is a reasonable place to have it. But I also missed an important level in the open of the day. So in that sense, I also got lucky. I should have sold a bit higher and had a bit of a wider stop. Uh, so overall, it was an okay trade. I didn't expect it to take 10 bars to get there to my target. So the result was a bit unexpected. The tough thing about these kinds of trades is that I can do analysis right after the trade and it's possible that I still won't come up with it with a conclusion about whether it was a good trade or a bad trade it might I could write notes like sometimes I'll say um, that I'm uncertain whether there was actually an edge or not 
and then I have to take the trade four or five more times before seeing some kind of um, conclusion whether or not there is an edge there. So here I did think that uh, this breakout, it was a potential breakout to a new high, but it ended up having a tail on it. So I consider that a fail breakout. And because the breakout failed, I thought we'd have to come back and, uh, and test this breakout point again. So I thought we'd get back down here and test this point again before doing anything else to the upside. And I missed that open of the day key level, but that was my premise. So the the breakout point is at 262.88 and I had my target at 262.92. So I thought it would reach there. But yeah, so my premise was that it would get down to test this breakout point and it might take four or five more trades like this to, to come up with a conclusion if, if there is actually an edge there for me to trade.